Hi, today we're going to talk about searching the internet for information. So one of the most popular ways to search the internet is with Google. It's an internet browser. We call it to browse the internet. I want you to learn one today that's meant a little bit more for kids. When you search Google, you're going to come up with all kinds of research and newspaper articles that are actually meant to kind of be read by adults. They have a lot of big words, a lot of big language. So there's a company that put together a search engine called Kittle that is meant just for kids, probably in grades like kindergarten through fifth or sixth grade. So if you want to search for Kittle, you would go to Kittle and you would type in Kittle and it says, oh, here's Kittle.co. Or if I wanted to be on a browser where I had like a blank tab, I could just type in Kittle.co. Um, and that's meant for children only. It's run through Google, but it's their own company. So they do use Google as their search engine to help you find things, but they actually are their own company where they kind of um, filter through things in a different way than Google does. So let's say I'm going to search for, well, let's look here real quickly about Kittle. About Kittle tells you how their safe searches are done and they're also talking about how they're very kid oriented and it says that they're going to find in the first one through three results that they show you they're going to give you sites that are written specifically for kids which is pretty cool um, the next four through seven might not be sites written for kids but they have language and content that's easy for kids to understand which is pretty cool so let's go back and hit the word kittle that gives you your search bar um, cherokee native americans it might want me to under it's underlined, so it should be capitalized, but we won't worry about that. So there's the ones that are written for kids, these first one or two or three um, sites that it comes with. A search engine is finding, remember, all the different websites out there that have um, Cherokee or Native Americans in it. So it finds you all of those very, very quickly. So this one actually found Dexter, and it gives you some information about the Cherokee tribe. Where did they live? Where did they eat? Um, where did they, how did they travel, their religion, their ceremonies. And notice it's not pages and pages of each of these things. It's just a nice little paragraph, and it's pretty easy for kids to read. Um, it only goes down about one page. You can take a listen to read the page. Um, and then it tells you there's other places where you can go. So if you wanted to go to the Nez Perce from here or to Chief Joseph from here, um, so it gives you other links. And then it tells you also some other links here. So it's not a really long article where on Google you might find a really, really long article. So if I go back, I go to the back arrow. I can also find other things about the Cherokee Native Americans. If I go to the facts page, it also looks for facts that have written just for kids. So look at there's 1,300 results in under a second of these facts that you can find about Cherokee Indians that are written for kids. So Cherokee Facts for Kids is the first one that comes up. Look at this. It has a really cool area for their population, how many there are, um, regions where they live, languages, their religion. And here's a nice article about it. It tells you what the contents are, their name, their history, and you can go through and see all of those things. If I want to print this article, you can print anything from the web. If you go to the right click button on your mouse and you say print. Another way you can do it, if I cancel that, is to do control P, just like control C is copy, control P is print. So it's gonna set up a preview and it's gonna search um, for that whole website and how it can look on paper. Here is my page I want to print. I wanna make sure I'm